Hello, my name is Jasmine Rivera Marcellin. I am an infectious disease physician at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. I'm here today to tell you about an article that I authored entitled Incidence of and Effects of Seasonality on Non-Purulent Low Extremity Cellulitis After the Emergence of Community Acquired Methicillin Resistant Staphylococcus aureus. This is an article that we wrote along with some colleagues with the Infectious Disease Division after noting that the incidence of uh, lower extremity cellulitis was 199 per 100,000 persons in 1999 prior to the emergence of community-acquired methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, or CAMRSA. We wanted to determine whether or not this incidence of non-purulent cellulitis had changed with the emergence of this organism. It has significant effects for the community and for practitioners because of the antibiotics that are being chosen for treatment of non-purulent low extremity cellulitis, with, which oftentimes includes coverage for methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus. We looked at patients in the Olmsted County area in the year 2013 after the emergence of uh, CAMRSA and determined that the incidence of non-purulent lower extremity cellulitis was 176 per 100,000. So in fact, the incidence had decreased. This was interesting given that we know in clinical practice that many providers pr uh, provide um, double coverage for CAMRSA as well as for streptococci, which are the typical cause of non-purulent no lower extremity cellulitis. This is also significant because it means that uh, potentially uh, patients can have benefit from receiving one type of antibiotic rather than two, uh, which also has some significance for the development of uh, antibiotic resistance as well as adverse effects from antibiotics. The other significant finding was that there was a uh, seasonality difference in the incidence of lower extremity cellulitis with uh, more episodes occurring during the summer months and fewer episodes occurring during the winter months. Finally, we found that there were fewer episodes of cellulitis in female patients compared to male patients. It's not clear what exactly the reasoning for that is, but further studies will be hopefully helpful in trying to determine the reasons for the seasonality as well as other trends that we've noticed during the study. We hope you enjoy reading it. Thank you. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.